All right, so today we got the Armors EX Premium Collection box. And we got this main guy, Armors EX Full Art, and then a couple of added stuff. Let's open this up and see what's inside. All right, so in this package, we do get the three promos one of the Shark Cadet, one Full Art Armors EX, and the Cerro Ledge, just a regular hollow. They also provide a magnetic case for it. I'm assuming. So yeah, they also provide this magnetic case for a single card. Plus they give you a little plastic stand. It's actually really nice. So I believe on the other premium collection boxes, they they only had the um, they only had like this material for using the stand. But now they actually gave us like a single card standy. So that's really cool. Go ahead and set this right over here. And we get some nice Arm Rouge and Cerro Ledge sleeves. These are really sick. I'm actually pretty stoked about these ones. But we also get six packs, two Obsidian Flames, two Paradox Rift, and two Temporal Forces. Let's break these open and see what's inside. Go ahead and start with the Obsidian Flames. There's nothing really I'm looking for in these sets. I mean, I guess more Charizards wouldn't hurt, but let's see if these have anything good. We got a Shuckle, Bishar, Frogadier, Stunfisk, Claude Sire. We get a Gita. All right, this looks like a special illustration rare. I actually never opened um any obsidian flames but this is a pretty good start to this collection definitely cannot be mad about getting this hit i'm gonna have to look it up later and see what rarity it is just because i'm not too familiar um with this set but right off the bat immediately just getting a hit definitely gonna throw that in the binder let's see if any of these other packs have just as good hits we got a room fin is in and a clay doll all right there's the code now we go into paradox rift this was one of the first sets i actually really started collecting there are still quite a bit of cards that i am missing from this so let's see if we can pull anything good from these packs we get a minior zeb striker gimme ghoul and a brute bonnet all right pretty okay cards but nothing too big you know just having the armor ex alone Plus having the super six sleeves was really sort of the selling point to me on this collection. TM Devo, Gimme Ghoul. We got a Mewtwo EX, all right. So that's pretty nice. We got one hit from each of the different sets. Let's see if we can get anything from this Temporal Forces packs. Uh, I did open quite a bit of Temporal Forces. I think the only thing I'm really looking for is a Hero's Cape. That is the one A spec I'm actually missing. So I'm hoping maybe I won't have to buy it individually and I can just pull it. Let's see if we get last pack magic. Can we see an A spec in this last pack? Looking on the sides, I don't see any of that pink. So I don't think we got an A spec, but let's see if we get any hits. We got a buddy buddy pop in, a valiant reverse, unpheasant, and a walking wake ex. So we did get a hit in each of the different packs. Honestly, I think I had better luck in this premium collection than I did most of the other ones because we did get three hits, one from each of the packs. I'm assuming this Gita is going to be the most valued one out of these three. Plus, we also just get this full art armor EX with the little standee. Very cool, but let me know if you guys were opening yours and see what you guys can get.